Hey everyone, this is Sarah with Sarah's Classic Kids. This is Rosie, different Rosie, not my Rosie. <laughs> She's a, um, a Chorky, Chihuahua Yorkie mix. She's about 13 pounds. She's so sweet. She's letting me hold her. We've been snuggling a little bit. She's only been here, I think, once before. But she's, uh, she's got a good amount of Yorkie in her, which I like because the silky Yorkie fur is really easy to cut. So we're going to do the works on her too. Bath, blow dry, haircut. And um, yeah, I think she's going to go pretty short. So, all right, we'll get started. All right got little Rosie here and as always the first thing I like to do is um, buzz their pads trim their nails and sanit <laughs> do sanitary <laughs> sorry Rosie um, and ears if they need it so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with her feet I'm going to use my 40 blade. If any of you have been wondering, if you've been watching my videos and you know anything about my dog grooming, I have this awesome Bravura. This is a cordless um, buzzer by Wall and, and it has the best blades and it's super quiet and it's cordless. And I haven't been able to use it because my dear sweet five month old puppy chewed through the charging cord. <laughs> uh, so I can't charge it. So it's dead at the moment. And I've looked everywhere and I got one or two different um, like replacement cords that I thought were gonna work and they actually didn't work because the base needs a certain kind of um, plug-in port thingy. And I thought that I got the right one, but I did not. So <laughs> anyway, let's see how she does. Here we go, good girl. She might need me to hold her. Yep. Hey baby, good girl. I'm just gonna kneel down. If you can see, okay. Alright. Good girl, Rose. Good girl. Worst case scenario, we'll just use the scissors on our feet. She doesn't seem to mind so far. We'll see. Good girl. Good girl, Rose. Okay. Not too bad. She's the little tiniest, the tiniest, daintiest feet, don't you? Yeah, and they're a little wet because she's going potty and running all over my wet lawn. So, it's okay. It's okay, Rose. You're all right. Good girl. It's okay. All right. I might need to hold her a different way. Like this. Like this. Okay. She's, she's fighting me here, so. All right, let's see. I have my um, my arm a little bit high because I had a bigger dog yesterday, and I haven't I haven't adjusted it yet. So I'll adjust this part down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Is that noisy? Mm -hmm. Let's see if this is better. There we go. Okay, we'll do it over here. And then we'll tighten you up a little bit over here. This way. There we go. This way. Okay. There we go. That just gives her a little less, a little less mobility. And we'll see what we can do. Sometimes when they realize that they can't really go anywhere. They kind of calm down and let you do whatever you need to do. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet girl. Yeah. She's a little nervous one, too. That might just be the chihuahua in her. All right, let's see what we can do here. Good girl. Oh. Come this way. Come this way. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. All right. I think we'll just use the scissors instead. See if she'll let me do that. Can we use the scissors instead? Can we? Can you let me hold your foot? Let me hold your foot. Can you hold it? Please. <laughs> okay. Let's do the back one. 
You're okay, Rose. You're okay. It's okay. There we go. I feel like the buzzers are just a little bit more efficient this area, but can't always use them. So her mom lives in Beaverton and we are not near Beaverton. <laughs> We're like on the opposite end of the world. So she's gonna do some shopping and then probably hang out while we do it. And it just occurred to me that I could do a live, but I don't know. I like editing and also the live videos are going to end up being a lot longer because it's the full groom in real time versus, you know, sped up version and stuff. So I don't know. We'll see. I might think about that for a future, future reference. But um, I watch, so one of my favorite groomers to watch is um, Dee Dee Croy from My Favorite Groomer. I usually link her um, website in the description of my videos because I buy um, shampoo from her website and I love to support her. Um, but anyway, she she often will do lives because she'll take um, she'll take people from all over, but also she'll take the really difficult ones and you know, have the people wait out in the car. <clears throat> and then they can turn on the live and watch their dog being groomed while they're in the car. So that could be an option, but we'll see. All right, we'll see. Hey, hold still. Hold still, you're okay, Rose. You're okay. <laughs> that was my knee, I caught the thingy underneath. What's the matter, you don't want me to hold your feet? I think, <clears throat> I think that this was an issue last time, and I do believe that I was not able to clip her nails last time either. So she had to take him, take her to uh, a different person. Let me see. Let's see if I can go underneath. There we go, good girl. Thought this would be better than the buzzer. It's a little less traumatizing. No, no. No, no, it's okay. No, 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 it's okay. Shh, 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 shh. Rose. It's okay, Rosie. Let's not fight about it. I don't want to fight about it. Oh, okay. She's pulling. This isn't this isn't tight. She's pretty loose and this is pretty loose too. So she's just pulling herself against it. We don't want to do that. No. We just want to trim your nail, your uh your pad area. It's not even gonna hurt, I promise. It's not even gonna hurt. You got some junk in there. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. This is the thing that takes longer, but I would honestly rather, I would rather it take a little bit longer and, um, and gain her trust and have her feel like she can trust me and com be comfortable with me than just try to rush through for the sake of time and, you know. I mean, if the parent, the pet parent is strapped for time, like that's one thing, but I still don't want to traumatize the dog. I mean, obviously she's, she's not comfortable with me holding her feet. And so if I can work on that a little bit and get her to feel more comfortable with me, calm down, you know, not be nervous. I'd rather spend the time to doing that and then have a successful groom where she's not feeling traumatized. Um, you know, but maybe she's okay with me. She just doesn't like me holding her paw. Cause like, I don't know if you can see this. She's like, nope, 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 nope. There we go. Good girl. Just going to hold it for a minute. Oh, are you distracted by something outside? Yeah. Good girl. Sometimes if I just keep trying, just keep trying. It's okay. And I can usually make make some headway. I just kind of keep persisting and keep trying different holds different ways because I think
think they all kind of have their own little quirks or senses of like what's comfortable and what's not comfortable and what, you know, if they've had an association, cold still, to pain, it's okay, to pain, um, you know, in their feet or whatever from a certain thing happening. Like we were, I was just talking with her mom about that. Like we were trying to figure out because she took her somewhere else to get her nails done and the guy, the guy, she's like, I don't even know how he did it, but he did it and she didn't cry. She didn't scream or anything. She said, apparently she squeals. I've never experienced that with her, thankfully, but I also couldn't trim her nails. So, but we think that maybe he used a Dremel. It's okay. Um, instead of clippers, because maybe she had a experience, a bad experience with clippers in the past, like nail trimmers. And it makes that loud, you know, clip every single time you clip a nail and that can be a little, you know, hard for them. So anyway, we can always come back. I just figured I'd try to do some of this now. We can always come back and do more later. Sometimes after the bath and blow dry, um, they're a little more calm, subdued, um, and easier to handle. They, she might feel more comfortable letting me hold her again. So we'll see. I'm gonna take my 10 blade. I'm gonna check her, her fanny area. Can you hold still? Hold still, good girl. Yeah, there's some, a little bit of matting with some poo there. Not too bad. Okay, good girl. Can you stand up again? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna get this area because a lot of time it's cr it's crusted a little bit, you know, stiff from urine drying on there. So I have to be really careful with the girly areas. I'm gonna go from side to side, and then a little, it's just a little bit on the top. Okay, okay good girl. I'm leave a little bit of hair, but there we go. Good girl, though. Okay. All right. Well, I feel like maybe we can try the nails when we get back from the bath. Let's see your ears. Oh, your ears aren't very bad either. Yeah, there's not a lot of hair in there. You look pretty good. I'll use the cleaner and clean them out, too, and I'll probably just use the buzzer around the outside. They're not too bad. Can I see? Yeah, there's just a lot of hair on the outside, but not, not so much on the inside. I guess the Yorkie? Or is this, is that the Chihuahua? I don't know. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and go give her her bath. So, we'll be back. Okay. So, like I said before, I do um, my grooming out of my house, so I have to use, uh, for the little dogs, I have my kitchen sink, which thankfully is big enough um, to hold the little doggies. Um, and so, a little bit of the overview of products that I'm going to use. Um, this is Spa by Tropiclean. It's a blueberry facial tearless shampoo. Um, Mr. Ben's ear wash. And then her mom sent me with some Jordan Essentials pet shampoo. It's bamboo and mint. So I'm gonna use that shampoo. And then I asked her about conditioner, so I'm gonna use a Hydra moisturizing conditioner um, when we're all done. So um, we'll go ahead and get started with her bath. <laughs>
Okay, we're back from the bath. <laughs> Look at this face. I may have gotten some, hold on. Okay, <laughs> some water droplets She keep shaking. Um, so this one does not like the big blower, the forced air. These little dogs sometimes can't handle it and I get that. Um, it's a little bit intimidating having the forced blow dryer. Um, so I'm gonna use my hair dryer and this is what I did on her last time and it seemed to go pretty well. This is my favorite, I'll have to link this on the bottom too, but I absolutely love Lange products for my hair, for my hair, for people. Um, I don't use Lange products on dogs except for the blow dryer, but this is, um, I think it's the Soleil it's called. I'll have to look it up. I think it's the Soleil Lange blow dryer. And I'm telling you, I have the thickest, well, when my hair's long, really thick, long hair and, um, it dries my hair in like six or seven minutes and no other blow dryer ever did that. So this thing is pretty awesome. I could go on and on. I only buy launch products for my hair. So <laughs> anyway, um, so we'll go ahead and blow dry Miss Rosie. I'll get started and then I'll switch to time lapse after a little bit. And I have it, there's a heat setting here, low, medium, and high. I have it on the medium and I'm gonna do the low um, force, uh, the low setting. Well, it's warm, but it's not too hot. And she seemed to like this better than anything else. I dried her with a towel pretty good as much as I could before, so. Anyway, did you see her? Her hair is short enough and fine enough that um, it'll dry pretty well with this, but we'll go ahead and keep going. She didn't love it in the face, I don't know if you could tell. But uh, it was pretty pretty low speed, medium to low speed, and I used a um, combination of medium to low and then uh, heat, and then I turned the heat off completely when I did like her private areas and stuff, because those are a little bit sensitive. Yeah. And her face as well. I think it was on low, low heat for her face. But I went from like kind of far away, so it was just barely, I mean, I had my hand here and I could barely even feel the breeze. <laughs> so he just, he just doesn't like being blow dried. I had this one um, Pomeranian once that loved the blow dryer. Like literally she would sit there and just like turn her head from side to side in the breeze, you know, like the slow-mo uh, models. <laughs> Anyway, she loved it. So some dogs like it and some dogs just don't like it. So it's all right. She's just not used to it, I think. So it's all good. We try to accommodate them the best that we can, right? Right? We just work with them. Work with the doggies. Do what they need. Do what works best. Try to find a good compromise where they will let you do some things or let you do it a different way. So, just brushing her out. So the last time I um, gave her a cut, we did, I think we did a seven blade all over and I believe the seven blade is about the same, the equivalent to um, an eighth of an inch. Um, so yeah, I know, are we doing your tail? Are we doing your tail? Yeah, it's a little tangly, it's not too bad. Um, so I think we're going to stick with, um, with that. Her mom said she liked it last time and the length was good. It's only like, I think she came to me in May. So June, July, August, September, October, November. So it's been six months. Um, I think right June, July, August, September, October, November. Okay. Make sure I'm adding right. Uh, <laughs> trying to do math. I haven't finished all of my coffee yet today, but, um, but yeah, so six months, it's not too bad from going down to a seven. So, all right, are you done with me brushing your face? 
and everything. Mm. Are you? Okay, so like I said, I'm a little bummed that I can't use my Wal Rivera cordless. I'm gonna keep saying that. <sighs> I love that thing. <sighs> I'll have to link it if anybody else is interested, but we're going to use um, seven. Oh my gosh, I got hair everywhere. <sighs> 7FC blade. Like I said, I believe it's within a few millimeters or a few hundred millimeters or something of um, an eighth of an inch cut. So we're gonna get started with that. What do you think, Rosie? I feel like her cut was pretty quick last time. Did she take you this way? You can look outside. She's been very interested in looking outside my window and watching the squirrels. What do you think? Do you like the squirrels? And there's my buddy Gimli. He's my grooming buddy. He loves to come in here and lay on the floor while I do my dog haircuts. He's pretty chill. All right. Yeah, this is gonna go pretty good. But the blades tend to push the hair down, so. Brush it up. That's pretty nice. So what I noticed uh, in learning about blades and the different finishes and the different um, types of blades is the FC, if you ever wonder what FC stands for, um, I believe it stands for finished cut or finishing cut because it actually has something in it that will leave um, the final groom, like the hair, it will leave the hair looking a little bit more polished or nicer. Um, than just say like a 10 or even a 7 without the 7 FC. Um, I don't know what it is, but, or how they do it. But that's what I've learned is the FC. So I have like a 5 FC and a 4 FC, um, and they're just longer, uh, longer blades. They leave the hair longer, um, but they leave it also a nicer finished cut. So like, let's say a 10 blade, the reason that you would use a 10 or a 15 um, without having a finished cut blade is that usually you put a snap-on comb um, on the top of it and the comb will leave it looking more finished so you don't really need the blade to be a finished cut but if you're just going to use a blade just by itself and then not put a comb on it then it's nice to have a blade that will leave it looking nicer so um, that means it won't be so choppy like sometimes you can see buzzer lines and really thick hair if you go if you like go against um, the grain of the hair growth if you go against it or sideways or something sometimes there will be like choppy buzzer lines um, I mean you still have to watch out for that you've been using an FC but um, I've just noticed that it's a lot less and it's just a lot nicer so I don't mind using it, especially with dogs that have like, it's just pretty thin hair. Um, the top coat, because she's a Chihuahua Yorkie, she's got like underneath Chihuahua hair that's short. And the top is a layer of, I think, Yorkie hair. That's real fine and silky and thin. So this, um, just using a blade by itself, um, especially the FC is actually a good, it's a good fit for her kind of hair so anyway, I know it looks pretty short but mom said she liked it and it lasted for a long time like six months so she hasn't been back to me I believe for six months I think it was the middle of May possibly May 19th if I have the date correct so that's a good solid six months um, and she hasn't you know she looked about the same as she did when she first came to me so it wasn't too bad um, and she says she's got cute little doggy sweaters she can put on her so she won't be cold so she likes this short length we're gonna do what mom wants and it's easier maintenance I believe so that's always good and she had like zero matting <laughs> it's probably just the short the Yorkie hair Yorkie hair like the silky Yorkie hair oh my gosh I love it um, but it doesn't mat at all. It's like the best of both worlds because sometimes you get wiry hair and it's not very soft, but it's like the best for, for like not matting, not tangling. Um, I have, I have a schnauzer, that one. Um, his, his white hair is super fine and soft. 
um, and like nice to pet, but it mats like it's the worst at matting. And then I had a black schnauzer who has all wiry hair and it didn't mat at all, but it didn't feel as nice to the touch. So these silkies, you got, I think she's got a little bit of that in there. Um, they're like the best of both worlds. They've got, it's super soft to the touch, but it's so straight and fine and silky that it just, I don't know, it just doesn't mat at all. So that's, that's a nice thing about it. This is a cute little mix here, a little Yorkie Chihuahua mix. I'm a fan. I don't know what she's like, personality or temperament. I mean, I can only imagine she's a sweet dog. She seems pretty chill. She's not, she's not, you know, not doing anything wild, but I think she's also like older. She might be 10 or something, I don't know, but sweet doggy. She's been fun to groom. Very good, very good. I don't know how much we're gonna be able to get of the legs, but <laughs> we'll see what we can do. We'll see what little Miss Rosie lets me do. I don't know if I'll do the whole cut in regular speed. It's going pretty fast, so we might be able to just do the whole thing, but we'll see. What do you think, Rosie? Hmm? Gonna be able to do the whole thing? I don't know, somebody's calling me and I'm not sure who that is, so we'll just keep going. I have, it's an unknown number. Yeah, I have all of my contacts labeled, so if it was somebody that needs to get a hold of me that I know, I would see it show up, so I'm not worried. I'm not sure who that is, but there we go. Good girl. Good girl, Rosie. Good girl, Rosie. Is going pretty fast. My my Fitbit died. I can't even see what time it is. But it's gotta be like maybe 12.45. I'm not sure. Close to one. I didn't charge it last night. I was lazy. I was too tired. Let's move you over here, sweet girl. Come here, this way. Good girl. Okay. Okay, good girl. Yeah, you're doing so good. You're doing so good. Do you remember this, huh? Do you remember this? It's not so bad. Mm, it's not so bad. Yeah, her hair is just a dream to cut. <laughs> I don't mind it at all. See if we can get a little bit more here. It's okay, it's okay. You're okay. Yeah, you're okay. There we go. Okay. And I'm not pushing down too hard either. I just kind of barely just kind of graze the skin with it. You don't want to push too hard. Cause it is metal and it's a little pokey, so. Mm
otherwise I could just keep going I always find areas that I missed or that need more attention All right, I think we're gonna call it good now. What should we put bows? Do we do bows? When you look down, it looks all different. I need some cute little bows. I think I'm just going to use the clips, and if they fall out, they fall out. Oh, let's see. What do we got? Mm. These are little cherries. Can you smell? didn't grab very much hair. Plus her hair is like super, super fine and soft. I think we got to grab a whole bunch to actually stay in there. Oh yeah, you don't like that, do you? <laughs> Can we do it long enough for a picture? the other one. I don't know if these are gonna stay in, but we will see. We will see. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. All right. Okay, we're all done. Oh, don't check them out. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, Rosie. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, sweet girl. <laughs> Look at her face. Okay, bye-bye.